Welcome back to uh, Blue Planet War in Heaven for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We're going into the 18th mission of the campaign. And this will be a... Uh, this will be a database reading, as usual. Let's get to our mission briefing. Maziaf Secure Net. Message received. Cinder Vidara. You're right about Lopez. She doesn't think like steel. Her people are more than assets to her. It's a weakness that's been exploited before, and you're right. She's not one to fall into the same trap twice. But she lost people at Saturn. Steel spent them to kill your war gods. She has to have doubts. Quietly, maybe, but those are the best kind. She's a professional. It'll take a lot to make her disobey an order. But in the right circumstances, she could be what we need. A crack in Steel's machine. A way in. Fleet Net Personal, Fleet Admiral Hans Maxwell Calder. Sub-Lieutenant Laporte, I thought you might be alive. Glad to be right. Your descriptions of Aldawa don't match mine. I met a woman, tall, Slavic. Maybe your Aldawas are a decoy, maybe they all are. Irrelevant for now. I can't discuss my operational plans here, but the Fedayeen are critical to them. I don't trust the Fedayeen. I trust you. Why? We haven't met. Thus the promotion. I've asked that you will be placed in command of any joint ops in the near future. Despite my inquiries, I have no information on the status of Captain Lorna Sims, like somebody's blocking me. I appreciate your interest. What happened to the War Gods was a damn shame. I have followed your progress in the war. You were a leadership element at key moments. I can find a use for you. I'm purveying you to the rank of Captain in Third Fleet. Keep yourself intact. Fascinating. Nazioff Internal Communicate, Distributed Moriarty, Keyword Bane, Source Cassandra, from Analyst Thorn. This is a Shatterpoint Alert. Cassandra projections based on recent recon data have detected an opportunity for high-impact direct action within the next 48 hours. The GTVA is transferring key assets and defenses away from the Neptune fortifications in order to concentrate, concentrate strength at Jupiter. Intercepted Directive Vault... Intercepted Directive Baltic suggests that their intent is to avoid losses due to strategic overextension. Steel's forces are off balance. This leaves Neptune vulnerable. Conclusions. We determined that Admiral Steel would rather lose Neptune than lose ships defending it. Neptune is no longer a key GTVA position. Although Neptune's defenses are now reduced, it would require a fleet strength assault to capture or destroy the installation. Pursuant to Conclusion 2, we have activated our assets in Third Fleet in preparation for a joint operation. Admiral Calder has requested Operator Laporte as his tactical liaison. In order to augment your tactical abilities in large-scale engagements, we have authorized you to equip a new flight system developed in UEF workshops. The Enhanced Reactive Armor Package will replace your axial primary mount with a battery system and mount a network of conformal plasma jets across your ship. Rather than serving as thrusters, these jets attempt to degrade the shot packaging of incoming plasma weapons and the terminal ballistics of missiles and other projectile weapons. Your ship's survivability will be enhanced. No power drain or activation is required. Placing your primary mount, though. That's, uh, that's a big ask. Nazia Priority Communicate. Distribution poems. Keyword, keyword Shadow Facts. Source Cassandra. Current estimate 12 days plus or minus 3 days until Steel attacks Earth. So, let's uh, continue to our mission briefing. Briefing begins at 0928. Mark. Cassandra is online and synced. Her finest hour is the mission. 0919 today. Third Fleet Jupiter assaults the GTVA's Neptune fortifications. Admiral Calder goes all in with only the flagship Tutatis in reserve. Second Fleet pins down Steel's other assets. Neptune is defended by an Asteria class installation and four Mjolnir RBCs. The GTVA is evacuating medical ships, fleet tankers, and tens of thousands of personnel. The GTD Carthage deploys to hold the line until evacuation is complete. The Vicrant, Toreador, Serenity, Segura, Tripoli, Wolfhawk, and Glarus engage the Carthage in its screen. Wolfhawk withdraws. Glarus lost. Huh. Vicrant, Toreador, let's see, Narayana, Narayana, Serenity is Karuna. The others must be these cruisers. Massive artillery duel develops. Carthage and Mjolnir versus Vicrant and Toreador. 
Heavy AWACS, heavy AWACS jamming prevents quick resolution. Situation degrades rapidly. Admiral Calder requests Fedigine intervention. Listen. Steel orders Lopez to execute General Order 17. Destroy the Neptune base to prevent its capture. Steel knows it's better to lose a base and several thousand crew than to allow us to capture the site. Cassandra is certain that Lopez delays her retreat in order to save as many people as possible. She intentionally misinterprets direct orders to execute G-17 and withdraw. This gives us an opening to exploit. We capture or destroy the GTD Carthage, striking GTVA morale and momentum. We capture Neptune HQ so that Third Fleet can stage raids directly on the Delta Serpentis node. A Hammer of Light operative undercover as a reactor operator aboard Neptune HQ sabotages scuttle charges. Admiral Steele will not commit forces to save the Carthage. His plans are razor calibrated. He would rather sacrifice an aging destroyer than escalate the fight. He fears escalation more than loss of Carthage. If he commits forces at Neptune, first or second fleet commit elsewhere in response. First fleet won't. Burns a coward. And Steele faces a decisive battle. He does not want that to happen at a time and place of our choosing. He chooses for cer the certainty of losing a destroyer over the slight chance of losing the war. Our plan of attack targets Steele's weakness, his subordinate's inability to grasp the strategic picture with the, with the totality and clarity he possesses. Their inability to act with the same brutal decisiveness. Calder holds most of Tutata's air wing on standby to strike the Carthage, but he only commits forces if he's certain of success. You enter the battle, degrade enemy capabilities of self-attacks, and then declare the strike on the Carthage. The more preparations you make, the more wings Calder releases to your command. Select from a wide range of targets. Destroy as many or as few as you please. Targets include mine layers, Gallant and Nikolaev, fleet tankers, Dimos class corvettes, Mjolnir RBCs. Disable Carthage radar dishes to enhance effective friendly artillery. Killing targets earns more wings from Calder. Carthage is defended by a minefield of Alistair sentry guns. We arm you with another hammer of light virus. Scan the weapons, sensors, and the communication subsystems of Neptune HQ to degrade sentry net. AWACS and Aurora sensors threaten your stealth fighters and degrade artillery accuracy. Destroy, des destroy Chivalry and Beholder. Destroy Pisces Wing. Uploading the Hammer Virus to warship subsystems degrades their targeting. When you have made preparations, open reinforcements menu and signal the attack. Spend points you've earned to call in strikes one at a time or in a single wave. Carthage attempts to withdraw if the evacuation concludes, if it is badly damaged, or if its engines are damaged but not destroyed. Use Tutatus Air Wing to disable the Carthage. Estimate you have 13 minutes at most before the Carthage pulls out. You are unable to call in reinforcements until you have signaled the attack. Admiral Natraba faints at Jupiter with Second Fleet to tie down the Atreus, Imperius, and Serker. Once the Carthage is ours, Calder deploys Marine Battalions to take Neptune HQ. They will use a hammer nerve agent that degrades soft suits and seals to tranquilize the crew before boarding. Critical notice. Our assessment of the battle's ECM state is favorable. If you are not in range of an enemy AWACS and if you hold your fire for 5 seconds, enemy ships will lose their lock on you. Of course, enemy fires that make visual contact within 700 meters or so will maintain a lock on you. GTVA fires can pass visual locks to friendlies via pattern recognition software. You'll have access to numerous assets. Interceptors clear enemy, enemy fighters. Anti-turret teams excel at disabling. Gunships are flexible and powerful. Strike bombers can maul corvettes. You have access to a unit of Custos gunboats. They should not be deployed until you suppress the local beam threat. You are promoted to, to Brevet Captain in 3rd Fleet. You will have command of the attack on the Carthage. Your HUD will instruct you how to manage the artillery on board the Vicrant and Toreador. Don't fuck up, Laporte. No unnecessary risks. Roger, we play this cool. Laporte, you and the Carthage, we need to know you're up to this. I'm mission capable. Suit checks. Primary objectives. Disable GTD Carthage, defeat GTD Carthage, and secure Neptune HQ. So we're flying in Sarai. Ammo Pack. City and Grimlers. Long range missile, high yield. Alright. Let's hit it. Oh boy. Starting with an explosion, that's, uh. auspicious. I need to take.
take out that. Tears up the uh, serenity. Stay tight, it's a target rich environment. We're short on the clock. We need to blind them. Let's take over the AWACS and the three Auroras first. Alright, so if I take out his rear triple A, I'll have a much easier time getting torpedoes in. Bank one low. Sure, that one as well. Why not? Bank one we're empty. We're going to charge our armor below and the guns. We're not going to make it out. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? are apparently tougher than the beams. I got us, Admiral. Don't set it. Alright. Kill that next. Priority save Serenity. Oh, you were freaking a lot of good empty. lives. Support warping in. Priority neutralize me on their beams. How about y'all do that? <laughs> beam sentry, all mine. No flying heavy beam sentry. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Alright. Tory door here. Tev pressure's intensifying. We're gonna do this. Let's do it soon. Oh. You're at 94%, Tory door. Give it a break. Why are those torpedoes just kind of going off into dead space? Bank one low. Bank one empty. Oh crap, we're gonna have to target the engine. Bank one empty. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit.
Get him, Falcata. Guns back, ready to kill. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Radar gun. Crash both guns. We got them up against the wall now. Be advised, we're going to be able to hold the position much longer. The artillery duel is going to Lopez. No, it's not. Look at your. Probably you got a problem. The stealth strikes are degrading. Aurora, our ARS coverage. Can we get a, uh, an Aurora sweep? Well, uh, I can't allow that. So I've earned 12 units so far. Let's see the radar dome. Not maneuvering. How am I? And it's right there. I can see it. Bank one low. You're disabled and can wait. Weapons are green, give me a target. Understand how I can't see the radar. Bank one Ooh, empty. There. there we are. No more purpose for you. Now let's, uh, now let's upload this virus. We got a good shot of those auroras from up high or down low, so I think we'll snipe them. Artillery units need to lock with your main guns. Crisis conduits, get out there and find those stealth ships. Fleet tankers, I now have 19 units available. Let's wreck their defense grid. Shit. Scratch my collar, one 
that's my layer. Press like that. Bank one low. Bank one empty. Charging your drive, you need other motors now. Alright. Commence the attack. Right, call in interceptors first. So you sweep the fighters, and now I need to maneuver under the Carthage to get bombers in on it. Everything we got. We don't have time for, let's see, strike bombers, strike bombers, sounds good, that turret sounds good, gunboats sound good, that's where you can get sound good, and everything is evil that You're taking down her engines. Frag to disable. Intercept row, you just engaged the enemy. Roger that. Judy Judy, engaging at will. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Case Reaper, Case Reaper, need them off my engines now. Engineering, where the hell's my jump charge? No sweet force. So she's disabled. Straight machine. Weapons hot. Going for the merge. Good track. Fangs for merge. I'm losing her. Finish the job. Wasting time on these, or it's not wasting time because we need to kill off the fighters. Rearming complete, sir. You're oh, good to crap. go. The gunboats, I need to get rid of those beams. <laughs> Sorry, Admiral, that was a shooter. We're having some receiver problems. Spencer's there to hell with that. We're staying on the line. Maintain fire. Oh, I still have reinforcements available. How about new gunships? And... That was on the stealth. The tank just has gunships ready for targets. Weapons hot. Going for the merge. Gauge fighters. Bank one low. They said, sir, we're still holding. I know, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't anticipate the damn stealth shift. You can't get us loose. I know you gave me an order, but I couldn't leave these, sir. God damn it, yeah. Speed, Admiral. The Dillonera is gone. Captain Gennady, that one's for you. Anti-turret. 
how about you? Targeting weapon hard thing. points. Carthage just dropped armor over her main beam. Excellent. All enlisted personnel abandon ship. Officer stand to your post, Godspeed. Alright, Carthage is at 15%. Put a, put a stop to that nonsense. Roger, I have the intercept. Bank one low. Those rare dishes are tough old things. Bank one empty. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. He don't have to target nullify. That was for Captain Albani. Attention Federation ships, this is Anita Lopez. Under General Order 18, I surrender my ship and crew into the custody of the United Earth Federation. God help me. Now cease fire. Weapons hold, weapons hold. What are your orders, sir? Destroy Carthage or accept surrender? She is on my list, but this is Paladin Gaming. We're gonna accept the surrender. Hold your fire, Third Fleet. The Carthage is done. It's over. Our job's done. This is Rear Admiral Anita Lopez. Though my imperative here is the survival and fair treatment of my crews, to which Federation officer do I owe my thanks? This is Captain Noemi Laporte, Indus War Gods. My unit was ordered to capture or destroy your ship. I'm completing that mission. Save your bravado, Captain. My officers are currently destroying sensitive intelligence and material aboard this ship. I want guarantees that there will be no reprisals. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. No guarantees, Lopez. You forfeited everything when you disobeyed Steel. No one's going to stand up for you. Not him, and certainly not Calder. As for Neptune HQ, we'll handle them. Laporte clear. Laporte. I said Laporte. <laughs> Neptune HQ, I know you're reading this. You saw what I did to the Carthage. Surrender immediately, or you're next. Artemis Control, this is Neptune Abshul. I'm enacting General Order 17. It's been an honor. Detonation in three, two, one. No, you're not. Our agents have sabotaged your self-destruct charges. Now that your position's clear, I'm going to give you 15 seconds to surrender before I ram three battalions of Marines down your throat. If you want the station, come and get it. Neptune Actual, clear. All right, we will. This is why I hate heroes. Then I'll see you in hell, you pig-headed son of a bitch. So Tata's the station will not surrender. I need a Grimler team to keep her turrets suppressed. After that, it's up to the Marines. Tell them to use gas. They say that these steps have a chance for a clean out, and they missed it. We'll take care of the bloody business on that station. Seeing you at work again was an unexpected pleasure, Brevet Captain Laporte. I'd like to repeat this engagement in the future. I didn't have to call him the Tatatis. Agreed, Admiral. I have a list I could use your help on, but for now, I'm gone. I don't want to watch this place and turn, to, turn into an abattoir. Fedayeen on me. Don't go soft on me, Laporte. 7,000 combatants gas is nothing good compared to what you might have to do someday. Tell them the truth, Laporte. Tell them what you've become. Get off my head. I'm not pulling this out because I'm afraid of what's about to happen. 
You're numb, aren't you? The people on that station on the Carthage, Carthage, they're all just ants to me. I feel nothing. I can walk the line. I wanted to kill the Carthage, but it wasn't necessary. I'm in control. Let's go, Fedigine. There's more work to be done before we rest. We're out. Good luck, boss. I can't order gunboats out of the part. Alright, well... Let's punch it. Welcome home, operators. You perform to requirements out there. There is no higher honor for us. Your capture of the GTD Carthage is a critical victory, but not the game changer it would have been a month ago. News of this defeat will hurt civilian morale in the Alliance, but the Security Council will not recall Steel now. We expect the GTD Vengeance or GTD Phoenicia to replace the Carthage in the Saul Theater shortly. In the meantime, we face the challenge of interning 10,000 GTBA prisoners in humane conditions. We got the whole plan to do it on. Historians and politicians alike will vilify Steele for his decision to abandon the Carthage, but it was the correct call. He is close to checkmate. He can afford to spend a rook to keep his tempo. Admiral Calder is now an enthusiastic convert to Fedeen methodology. Our ability to predict Admiral Lopez's actions, her willingness to risk everything to save a few thousand more lives, was the key to this victory. We will exploit this relationship in the near future. Admiral Steele appears prepared for the loss of the Carthage, but sources suggest he is furious at Lopez's failure to destroy Neptune HQ or pull her own flagship clear. We have informed fleet commands to brace for retaliatory action. In the meantime, SOC units are purging Hammer of Light agents from the Saul Theater with unexpected efficiency. For better or worse, the Fedigine are now the only force in this system capable of strategic planning that can match Steele and his SOC machine. This is a chess match we cannot lose. Admiral Calder's wings will begin harassment attacks on the node itself in the near future. Cassandra projections are unclear on the effectiveness of this strategy. There is no question today was a triumph, but the war is still far from won. Some collateral damage during this battle was unavoidable. Destruction of peripheral installations compromised our ability to use Neptune HQ as a rapid turnaround station. Well. The Vicrit and Toreador shot the hell out of it. I didn't tell him to do it. Admiral Calder has expressed displeasure with Aldawa for the heavy losses during the attack. With almost 40 space frames lost, he feels we should have done more to prepare the battle space for his attack. While each lost pilot represents a massive resource investment, it is nonetheless inarguable the trade was worthwhile. But in the long term, these losses are unsustainable. Personal log, no mail report. Another one down. I kept another control out there. I can do this without becoming a monster. Casually taking this mission will have consequences in the future. If you want to reduce them, upload viruses to the DNR and the Elante, destroy the two mine layers, shoot down fires, and take out the Carthage radar dishes. In a pinch, tell your strike wings to depart. Well, we're not going to replay it just for that. One kill and four assists out of all that. <laughs> Got a GTF at Atlanta. Bring her all time to 33 with eight assists. So this has been her finest hour. The... I want to say 18th mission of uh, Blue Planet War in Heaven and the fourth of uh, the third act, Tenebra, for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming signing off.